Hey, you guys. Hey, 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 everyone. Happy Friday, TGIF. For me, it starts a very long and super busy weekend. So, you guys, uh, we got to do a lot of traveling this weekend due to all of our boys having football games, like two hours away. So, pray for us. Um, So, I've kind of been struggling with if I was going to continue covering the situation with Zach and Cheyenne. And I've decided I am, I'm just going to be, you know, a lot more cautious with the things that I say. I've made it clear I'm not a news channel. I'm not a journalist. Um, so I just tell you guys what I know. Sometimes I do uh, have assumptions and sometimes I will I have my theories on things. So I'm just going to be a little bit more cautious, um, conscious of the fact that they may be watching these videos. And obviously, um try to be as respectful as possible when covering this subject because I do know they're going through, uh, what they went through was really difficult. Uh, I'm sure they have PTSD. So I want to be mindful of that. Also, I do hope they understand why people are questioning things and why people are trying to make sense of a situation that doesn't make sense to us. You know, so, um, someone actually sent me this this morning. Um, I never know if people want to be named when they send me information. Like, I never know if the person is okay with me saying, so-and-so sent me this. So usually I won't name names unless I know for a fact that they're okay with it. But I was sent um, this screenshot this morning where Zach was responding to comments on Team Mom Chatter's page. Um, is this on my email? I'm going to share it with you guys. Which to me, like, they are kind of keeping up with what's said about them. They, they're following the Team Mom pages that talk about this. Um, one thing that I did realize is when there's a lot going on with your name, and I'm, I'm nobody, I just have a YouTube channel, but back in the day when I was getting a lot of heat for different things, I realized it's easy just to not pay attention to it because you're always going to um, get comments from people that are rude and mean and ugly and don't understand. You know what I'm saying? So, are y'all telling me to change it to live chat or... Um, so anyways, you guys change yours from uh, top chat to live chat. I really don't know what the difference is, but everybody says you should be on live chat. So put it on live chat, you guys. So as you guys know, months ago, uh, Cheyenne and Zach and their little family was involved in a, um, a shooting where they were the victims of a shooting. Um, we saw this last week when the team mom, uh, the next chapter, it started and we saw this little trailer where Zach and Cheyenne was explaining what took place. And Cheyenne says, you know, I've been trying to, I've been thinking of this day for, for a while now on how I was going to explain this. Um, and they tell the story of what took place. They were taking the kids to a doctor's appointment, Ryder to a doctor's appointment, Ace to a doctor's appointment. They were going down the road. Um, and uh, Cheyenne saw this green beam on Zach's face. And she noticed that it was um, a laser from a weapon. And she they noticed the person behind the gun. And Zach said on the trailer, he said, or, or in the clip, he said, not only do we, know, like, not only do we know this guy, but this guy's been in Cheyenne's house. Like, we have pictures of this guy. That really sent everybody into, like, a, what? This was a friend of theirs? Like, oh, my God. I could definitely see how people would come to that conclusion. Like, oh, it was a friend of theirs based off what they said because they said, it was somebody we know, and not only that, but somebody that's been in our house. Somebody that we have pictures of. So, I can see why people would think that. Zach, he is clarifying. Um, after that, he put out a statement that was deleted where he's like, stop pushing the narrative that this was a friend of ours. And I'm like, you know, if they want people to be understanding to what they're saying, then they have to be understanding as well. Like, they have to, they have to know that by saying this was somebody that we knew, somebody that's been in our house, somebody that we have pictures with, then people would assume. That's not an outrageous assumption for people to think that this was a friend of theirs based off what they said. Does it mean it's the right assumption? Does it mean that it's the facts? No, not at all. Um, obviously, you know, Zach's like, stop pushing this narrative that this, this was a friend of ours. And then everybody's like, what? You guys are the one that said it. Like, y'all are the one that said it was a friend of, of y'all's. No, they did not say friend. They didn't. I went back and watched it. Um, again, just to double check. Like, wait, didn't they say friend? Did they say friend? What exactly did they say? They did not say friend. They said it was somebody that we knew. 
somebody that's been in the house, somebody that we have pictures with or of. He never finished that. He just said, like, somebody we have pictures, right? So, um, since then, like I said, everybody's been, like, a friend, a friend, a friend. And Zach's been trying to rein that in to be like, he, this person was not a friend. It was not a friend. So, um, on the Team Mom Chatter Instagram account, if you guys don't follow that account, go follow it. It's a good account to follow to keep up with, you know, Team Mom drama stuff. Um, so, there was a post over on that page. And I'm going to share with you guys really quickly. Okay. So, someone said, didn't they literally say on the show that it was somebody that they knew and that the person had been to their house? How is that making up a narrative? So what she's responding to is Zach saying, stop with the narrative. This wasn't a friend. Stop pushing that narrative. So she's like, how is that a narrative? You guys said it. So he is saying, and I don't know, I feel like this is kind of rude the way that he responded. Like, I get it. They're dealing with a lot. Like, not only did they go through that, which is terrifying, but that now they have everybody coming up with their own theories of what took place. And a lot of it is, a lot of people are blaming Zach. A lot of people are putting that blame on him. Like, oh, surely it has something to do with him. I've never said that it did. I have wondered if it had anything anything to do with Zach. Um, so I imagine right now Zach is really feeling a lot of heat. Um, and it's probably hard for him to deal with that, you know, to navigate that, to be, to have the finger pointed at him over something so serious concerning his family. So I imagine he's probably in a place where he's easily be upset you know um so he said because like i said i feel like this was kind of a little rude to he could have just said listen i get it yes we did say the person's been to our house but it was with a party he came with a friend it wasn't anybody that we knew but he kind of was a little um no they've never said who it was as far as we know they don't say who it was just that it was somebody that's been in their house so zach said do you consider every single person that you know a friend he was at the house once a guest that was invited to the party invited him. Very common thing if you've ever had a party or attended. People bring other people. Do you need me to do a small skit and show you? Like, that's kind of rude, you know. But I, like I said, I'm trying to really put myself in their position. And I've never had anything like this happen to me. But I have been subjected to a lot of... Um, uh, like, accusations about things, you know. Um, when I was arrested, uh, you know, people had, they were all over, you know, YouTube in the community that I belong to talking about it and coming up with their own theories. And it was hard for me to navigate that. Um, and it, it really did have me very defensive. Like, I was very defensive um, when I would read comments. I didn't respond um, at that time because, well, it was a legal situation, so I couldn't. But I knew if I did it would come from more of a place of anger than just trying to get them to understand. You know what I'm saying? So, um, do you need me to do a small skit or show you? Y'all blow words so far out of context. Stop and think for a second. That's not blowing words really far out of context. If he would have said, listen, yes, we said this person was somebody that we knew, somebody that's been to our house, somebody that we have pictures of so I can understand where you could draw that conclusion like they're kind of acting like it was just so outrageous for anybody to think that it was a friend and it's really not based off what they said it's really not now I get what he's saying because I don't have parties at my house due to like parking and stuff like that but like um you know just the other day we had Kennedy's birthday party at her grandparents house and um my daughter was like hey can I invite my boyfriend's sister and her husband and their children. Um, they ended up not coming because they didn't have... So, Kennedy had a, um, a pool party. That's what we did. We did a pool party. And um, my daughter was like, I can invite my boyfriend's sister and her husband and their kids because it'll be more kids for the pool party, you know? And um, I was like, yeah, okay. So, if they would have came... I wouldn't have known them. It didn't mean, mean that I knew them or that I was friends with them, so I get what he's saying there. But, yeah, I do feel like he's kind of being kind of rude to people that may have been fans of his. You know, I feel like a lot of people are fans of Cheyenne for sure, possibly Zach. I'm not going to lie. I've been watching some of their YouTube videos, and I'm like, he's kind of funny. Like, I, you know, 
know, he, he's funny. Um, I've always thought that he was very nice looking. Um, but he's kind of really coming from a very defensive place and being kind of rude with the way that he's responding to people based off things that he said. Like, he, you know, he said someone we knew, been to our house, and we have pictures with or of or something along those lines. So birthday party, yes, it makes a lot of sense. But you didn't say that. Like, you didn't say, you know, this this person's been to our house, you know, we had a birthday party at one point, and he came with somebody that we knew, so, like, he's been here. To say he's been to our house and we have pictures of him or with him or whatever definitely makes someone think that there's some sort of friendship there. You know what I'm saying? It's not like that's such a huge um, assumption to make or, like, outrageous assumption to make. So, but I am trying to be a little bit more understanding um, he's getting a lot of crap right now, and obviously they are keeping up with everything that's said about it, like a lot of it anyways. They're kind of keeping their eye on people that talk about it, and uh, no doubt reading the comments, because he's responding there to comments, um, and there are so many comments of people pointing the finger at him, it is. So I have to imagine this is really difficult for them. They went through that point of, you know, living through it, and we did not know about it, and now they're reliving it. Um, and they're, not only are they reliving it, but they have to deal with everyone assuming X, Y, Z. You know what I'm saying? I do remember that, Destiny. I do remember that. So, um, I want it because I said, you know, I have some people mad at me, like, why aren't, you, why aren't you putting out XYZ? So I, I said either I'm thinking about not covering it anymore or I'll make sure that everything that I do here, I'll cover. And that's what I'm just going to do from now. Anything that I do here, I'll bring it to you guys. This was straight from the horse's mouth. Zach saying, you know, um, no, it was not a friend. He, he, was, he came um, with someone we invited to a birthday party. So he's saying they had a birthday party, invited someone. The person they invited brought this guy. So they, it was kind of more of an acquaintance. Um, and he probably ended up in pictures due to, you know, being a party and them snapping photos or something, you know. Unless they moved since the second kid. I don't watch the show, so I don't know. Um, They haven't moved yet. They haven't moved yet, um, but they are building a home. Yeah. You are not very late, um, you mad bro. Uh, you came in a few minutes ago, and I've been on for about 12 minutes, so. If I had a dinner reveal, I mean, chicken nuggets for my baby food. I love chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. That's one of my favorites. Chicken nuggets and macaroni and cheese. Um, at the gender reveal, maybe so. I don't know. He didn't specify which party it was. Right, Heidi, right. Like, I think it's. They're on a show that gets hundreds of thousands of views. Team Mom used to have a very large fan base. It doesn't have that large of a fan base anymore, but it's still a decent sized fan base. Um, and you know, all we heard was this, you know, three minute clip of this is what happened. And we knew the person behind the gun. He's been to our house. We have photos with him or of him, something along those lines. He didn't finish that sentence, so it was hard to, you know, um, Right? Thank you, Humad Bro. Thank you for binge watching my videos. Um, I kind of got away from the show for a little bit, but I'm trying to cover it again. Um, but to be honest, here's the thing. Teen Mom is just going downhill. When I first started covering Teen Mom, uh, my first video about Teen Mom got a ton of views. You know what I'm saying? Because it used to be way more popular. Like in its heyday, it would get like 5 million views. Then, like, 3 million views. Now it gets, like, 400,000, which is not good for a show like Teen Mom. Pamela Kaiser, thank you so much for the super sticker. Hi, you. Um, but still, you know, they they have all the Teen Mom fan pages. Uh, the Ashley, they do videos about this. Uh, the, uh, the Ashley, you know, keeps up with Teen Mom. Starcasm, Rare Online, Hollywood Gossip. All these outlets, they, they keep up with, like, Teen Mom-related stuff. 
So something like one of the girls being involved in a shooting, they're obviously going to, you know, cover that. And unfortunately, because we only got like a three minute clip and it wasn't explained to us like where it come from, who did it. And I understand they probably can't say everything because it's still like ongoing. Like I get it. Um, but it people's going to speculate, unfortunately. Like, you know, when I was arrested, people speculated. Uh, and it hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings that people I felt like knew me because they had been following my channel, all of a sudden was like, oh, wow. Like, I didn't take her to be a drug addict. Well, yeah, because I'm not, you know. Um, and I couldn't speak on it. So, I, it does suck. It sucks really bad when you see something that's happening to you being put out there. And you can't comment on it that much because it's a legal situation and it's ongoing. And everybody's coming up with these wild assumptions. Like, I remember someone said, and I actually wasn't too upset with this one, but someone said, you got to remember, guys, um, LB's nephew just passed away. So maybe she was dealing with a lot of anxiety from her nephew passing, and maybe a family member gave her, like, a Xanax or something. And maybe she forgot about it. When she got pulled over, they found the Xanax. And because she didn't have a prescription, she got arrested. You know, like, people were coming up with, like, all kind of wild theories of why. How I got arrested. Like, why was I running from the police? Because my charges look like I ran from the police. You know what I'm saying? So, people were coming up with all these. And it, it, and it was difficult to go through that. It was. So, I know it's got to be for them. Um, if I could suggest anything to them, it might would be just to, like, not pay attention to it until they can explain more. Until they can tell their story in its entirety. I literally had to do that. I had to shut it out. I had to shut everything out. Amber, uh, was it you that said that? I wasn't mad about that one because I was like, that one actually makes a lot of sense. Um, but it was just wild. You know, it was just like, because the thing was, is I didn't have drugs. I didn't have drugs. I did not run from the police. So it was crazy to see like all these like theories being put out there on how it happened when I'm sitting back knowing like I literally did nothing wrong. And I was arrested, got put in jail, got these charges on me. Um... I was good with that when I was like, I'm glad this person thinks it's more something along the lines of like that, other than me actually being some drug addict. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, but it, it was difficult. If I could tell them anything, and I, I get it, they hate me, and that's fine, or they dislike me, whatever. Um, I would just say, don't pay no mind to it right now, and wait till you can tell your whole story. That's what I had to do. I had to shut it out um, until I could tell my whole story. And, well... At one point, I had to gather all of this for my lawyers. Like, I had to, like, get, get in touch with my mods and say, y'all, anything that you have seen of somebody talking about my, about my arrest, screen record it, screenshot it, send it to me. And I had to go on the hunt for these. And I had to send them to my lawyer. So, and I've seen a lot, and I couldn't respond. Like, you know, I, I couldn't respond. I'm sorry, Alicia. I'm sorry. The math wasn't math and with the meth bull, though. <laughs> they said I had cocaine. <laughs> I'm like, what? I've never even seen cocaine. <laughs> How do I have it? Um, so, yeah, it was, uh, I, I, I don't remember what Katie said it was that I had. I think she said cocaine. Um, which kind of threw me off on how she knew exactly what it was that they were saying that I had. Because Schedule 2 is not just one thing. It can be different things. Alicia, nobody gets it right? Really? Hmm. What are they caught when they run? How are you going to be able to tell me? Well, what are they caught? To me, it's like blatant Alicia, but it is a different spelling. It is a different spelling. I drink Red Bulls all day, every day. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to hop on here. If I see Zach responding to comments and it gives us more a number, an understanding of what's happening, I'll hop on here and let you guys know. Because, you know, I want to know. I want it to make sense. And unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get all the pieces to the puzzle. So if they make comments like this, I'll make sure I get on here and I'll let you guys know. Did she say math? Maybe so. I remember her being like, Schedule 2 is blah, 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 blah. Um, there's, because I'm like, there's no way as a recovery specialist you show zero signs. Of meth? Yeah, absolutely not. I mean, I'm skinny, but, like, my hair is good. My face is... And I know there are people that use drugs that have good hair and good face. You know what I'm saying? But still. 
I need combos. It was, yeah, I haven't had combos in a hot minute. Um, okay, Mama of Three. Thank you. Um, I wasn't sure. I think you sent it to somebody and they sent it to me. Um, yeah, math, no. I've never seen math either. Well, I think one time I did. Honestly, I don't know what it was that one time. I saw it with a guy that I was dating and I started crying. I was driving the truck and I was like 15 years old and we were going to town and he was driving at first and we're driving and there was this guy walking, one of his friends from school. He picked him up. We went to Walmart on the way back. We stopped. He said, hey, you drive. And I'm like, me drive? I don't have a license. And it's a single cab truck. So if I drive, you're going to sit in the, in the middle beside the guy? Like, that's weird. Uh, but I was like, okay. So I start driving. And then the guy that we picked up brought out this bag and the two of them. And I was dating this guy at the time. And I had never seen him do anything like that. So I, we were supposed to be bringing that guy home. And instead, I passed that guy's house right up and went to my dad's house. Pulled up, jumped out of the car. Jumped out of the truck, went to my dad's house, and I was like, I started crying the second I got out of the truck. And he said, what's wrong? And I said, them two just did something. It was white powder. I don't know what it was, but they just did drugs in front of me. And I went to my room, and I shut the door, and I started crying. And my dad, like, went out there and, you know, talked to him and told him to leave. So I'm not sure what that was, but um, he went into their notes. <laughs> so whatever. Um, but, yeah, I was, like, 15 back then. I've always been pretty scared of things like that. Um. I'm wondering if they're not giving out the info until it arrives on TV, which would be too old of news for us to even care. I don't know. Maybe so, because I think this is going to be a lot of, like, Shane's storyline. You know, them overcoming that situation as much as you can. Them dealing with that situation. But I just wish they would understand. Like, I don't... There are some people that just have ill intent. There are. There are some people out there that just are going to say the most. Like, somebody was like, I think what upset Cheyenne is you said that um, Ryder should be taken from her. And I'm like, I never said that. I, I, I was reading a comment. I did read a comment where someone said, you know, Corey should be mad and he should, you know, take Ryder. Um, but I never said that. I I, I, I wouldn't have thought. I don't think I said that because I, I've never thought that um, he should take Ryder. Now, someone, oh, I do remember, I do remember. Someone said it, that Corey should take Ryder, and I read the comment, and somebody got really mad and was like, that's BS for y'all to say that, and I'm like, well, I don't think they're saying take Ryder forever. Like, I don't think they're saying, because I was trying to, this person got mad at the other person for saying that, and maybe me for reading the comment, um, but I was basically saying I don't think the person is saying take Ryder and never let Ryder see her mom. You know, I just think the person was saying, like, as the father, to know this happened, if it has anything to do with anybody's, like, criminal past or anything like that, as a father, like, I could see why somebody might would, you know, say that or whatever. But, like, I've never seen Cheyenne not be a good mom. You know, to me, she, she, she seems like a good mom. Um, no, Zach's past, obviously, whatever that may be, you know, if you're a mom and you have kids, you have to take those things into account. You know, how, how it could affect the children. Um, so, anyways, I don't I don't think I said that. I remember reading a comment, and I remember someone saying, that's BS that y'all would say that. And I just tried to under, like, I tried to explain where that person was coming from and how the person, how I didn't think the person was saying, take Ryder and forever and never let her see her mom. I was like, I don't think that's what they're saying. Um. But anyways, I think also a lot of things that maybe they think that I was saying coming from me was also things that I was reading in the chat. Um, but once I got older, I started telling everyone, just call me Lee much easier. I like that name, Lee. Um, I didn't think I ever said that because I, I, don't, I don't think that. Like, I don't think that Corey should take Ryder from Cheyenne. Um, in my opinion, I don't, you know. I just hope my biggest concern is that whoever did it is done and they're in jail and they can never try to harm the family again because those are innocent kids. And, you know, it, even if anybody has any, even if it's because they're jealous of Cheyenne, even if Cheyenne says something that ticked them off or if Zach done something and it brought this on, it, they didn't deserve this, you know, I mean, doesn't matter what Zach may have done. Because, you know, like I said, a lot of people speculate that 
this has something to do with Zach's past. That's not me saying that it does. There's just a lot of speculation online that it does. Um, regardless what Zach may have ever been involved in, um, this did no, nope, they didn't deserve to go through this. Uh, like, Sh- like Shane said on the show, like, I should have never had to go through, um, you know, jumping out of the car and stripping my baby down, stripping my children down to like look for wounds or whatever. Uh, did they not watch the darn video? I don't know which specific video it is. I feel like I know 100%. You wouldn't wish that upon nobody, not even exactly, you mad bro. I mean, the person that I dislike the most on YouTube, you guys know who that is. Um, I wouldn't wish ill that I would not wish something like that on her. Um, so yeah. I love it here. You are so friendly. We need more positivity in this nasty negative world. I got to make sure I stay on top of the lives. Thank you so much, Alicia. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and put this out there that he is explaining, like, no, it wasn't a friend. Stop saying that. Um, this is what it was. We had a party. Someone we invited brought this guy. That's how this guy has been to the house. It's not because he's a friend. I have no affiliation with him. Um, so he, ex- he explains it. Um, He's, he's obviously pretty mad, and he's kind of going about it in the wrong way, the way that he's talking to people. And, you know, not everybody is understanding to be like, oh, well, the finger's getting pointed at, at him. They're having to relive this. So that's got him on the defense. Some pe- people may just be like, oh, wow, he's a butthole, and not support them anymore, you know. Um, so he probably needs to try to bring it down a little, a little bit. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this one out. i got a few other things I'm going to talk about. Um, so I'll be back live in about 15 minutes, probably. I got to go get Paris at 1.30. So I'll be back live in about 10 minutes. More reality TV news and gossip. So you guys, uh, have your notifications on, if possible. Follow me on Twitter, because I also, I also post, you know, on Twitter and, uh, my Facebook account when I'm going to go live. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Goodbye, everyone.